did that. Amen. And looking here at, at, at our text, the priests had special influence and were often close relatives of the high priests. All right, the captain of the temple guard was the leader of the guards who were stationed around the temple to ensure order. And you would think if there would be order anywhere, it would be at the temple. Amen. But the temple needed to have police protection to make sure that order was established in force. Amen. So you mean tell me the church folk can get out of hand sometimes? They, they, they need some, some police reinforcement to, to make sure that things are in order? But here these were the police that were playing up guard. The boys in, in blue. The Sadducees were members of a small but, but powerful Jewish religious sect that did not believe in the resurrection of the dead. They were the religious leaders who stood the game financially by cooperating with the Romans. Why uh, does it always appear that then when, whenever the church cooperates with the world, it always involves the church uh, uh, conforming or it always involves the church uh, compromising its standards. Amen. Every, wherever you look and you see collaboration with the church and the world, it's the church that gives up everything. Yeah, but Amen. Uh, 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 but the world don't ever give anything. But the church lowers its standards, the church uh, uh, lowers its uh, uh, structure, its, its standard of holiness and sanctification, all to conjoin with the world. And, and so even when you look at it today, uh, many churches that have fallen for the okie doke by accepting government money. Hello, somebody. Uh, now the government has a say-so of what you can and cannot do. Amen. And, 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 and so we got to be careful because all money ain't good money. That's what they tell me. Amen. And so when, they, when you get that government money, now the government can come in and, and say, you're going to do this this way and this how and, and, and so on and, and so forth. And push the agenda of the world in the church. Most of whom who had planned and carried out Jesus' arrest and crucifixion were from these three groups here. And similarly, the captain, together with the priests and the Sadducees, they all came together to now arrest Peter and John. Isn't it amazing how uh, uh, worldly folk don't have a problem coming together for one cause? Amen. See, if it was the church folk, we wouldn't have been able to come together. Preach. There would have been division. Sir. All right, there were some issues, problems. On why we, we all three different sects couldn't have come together for the general cause or the or the purpose at hand. But here we see that that the, that the worldly, the, the rulers and the Sadducees, they had no problem coming together to arrest Peter and John. Preach, and for no other reason but for teaching something that contradicted their beliefs. <laughs> see, the world don't like the church. Because the church uh, uh, preaches things that contradicts the beliefs of the world. And so the world don't have a problem rallying and, 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 and protesting and so on and so forth to push their agenda so that the church can't propagate the gospel of, of God. Preach. Because it contradicts their beliefs. And despite the opposition coming against the gospel, the number of Christians kept increasing. Amen. It grew from uh, to five thousand, from three thousand in just two chapters prior to. In Acts two and forty one, it said that the, the last count was at three thousand, but yet here we are now. We're up to to five thousand. The opposition did not slow the momentum of the church down not one bit. The power plays, the threats, and the intimidation were were all ineffective. Preach. Amen. How many know that the no that weapons are formed? Yeah. They shall not prosper against us. Amen. More people started following Jesus and not less. Amen. If we 
proposition the gospel and we speak Jesus, Jesus Christ, and, and everything is about Jesus, guess what? Folk won't have no problem following him. The problem lies when they want to follow us. Man. Because man lets folk down all the time and time and time again. Amen. Men fall from grace. Men have ulterior motives. Men are blind leading the blind. But when we put the focus and the total ownership on, on Jesus Christ, folk won't have a problem following. And we can see substantial, exponential growth. Uh, Jesus told Peter, upon this rock, I shall build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. There's nothing that the world can do to stop the church of Jesus from growing, from expanding, from establishing in this world. Nowadays, we seldomly hear of, of Christians being persecuted. Satan instead, he, he has attacked us with worldliness and selfishness and greed and the need for acceptance and, and for status quo. He attacks us by through the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the, the pride of life. The rulers, the elders, the priests, and the, the teachers of the law made up the Jewish high council known as the Sanhedrin. This is the same council that had condemned Jesus to death. This council had over 70 members, mainly comprised of the wealthy, the intellectual, and the powerful men of Jerusalem. But yet here, they were all gathered together. This was a scene of, of power and intimidation because they knew together, and they, 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 they presented themselves as a formidable opponent. But this same group of leaders had recently condemned Jesus to death. And they wanted them to know that they had the power to do the same thing to Peter and John. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, the same devils, the same spirits, the same warfare, the same attacks that condemned Jesus to death. Will be the same devils, the same spirits. <laughs> The same warfare, the same attacks that's going to try to condemn us to death. Preach. Amen. And when Preach. Jesus went through, we're going to go through. Preach. Amen. So think it's not strange when you when you endure certain things. We're not exempt from it. Preach. But be encouraged because in John 16 and 33, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Yes. Hallelujah. Because Jesus has overcome the world, we can overcome the world. Yes. Amen. And we don't have to succumb to the things of the world. Yes. And this had been removed as the high priest by the Romans, who then had appointed Cephas and a son-in-law as his successor. The Jews considered the office of the high priest a, a lifetime position and, and still addressed him by that title. Amen. Uh, and even now when you look through the church where we got folk who, who are trying to be lifers in positions. <laughs> yeah. Amen. You got hundred year old bishops and hundred year old pastors trying to run churches and whatnot. And, and, and I'm not speaking out again but I'm just saying at some point in time you have to step aside yeah, with the, the younger folk. Step in and take over the torch. Amen. Yeah. If you nine, you can barely walk and dress yourself. You, you, you shouldn't be in the pulpit trying to preach every every Sunday. Preach. Amen. You 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 are nine, you're hundred. You trying to teach twenty and thirty year olds. There's something there, there's a gap there. Amen. And so positions aren't for a lifetime. They're for a season. And when we try to hold on to them for too long, then then we end up messing the stuff up. Amen. And getting outside of God's will. Preach. Here, Ananias and Sapphias, Cephas, uh, both played significant roles in, in Jesus' trial. And they were not pleased that the man they thought they had sacrificed for the good of the nation had followers who were just as persistent and were just as troublesome as <laughs> Jesus was. 
How many followers of Jesus do we have here on today? Well, guess what? You should be just as persistent. You should be just as troublesome and problematic for the devil as Jesus was when he was walking the earth for his 33 years. Amen? Hallelujah. By what power or by what name have you done this? They asked Peter and John by, by what power they had healed the man at the gate and by what authority they preached. Forget about the man, being a miracle being performed and that he was a son that was lame, being able to walk, but, but instead of highlighting the, the miracle itself, they, they were more concerned about what power and authority <laughs> yeah. was done in. Preach. I bet you if it was them, they wouldn't ask them the same question. But because it was somebody else, they, they want to question the power and authority in which it was done in. The, the idea behind uh, uh, by what power and by what name are, are virtually the same. The power was Jesus. And the name was Jesus. And in the